Hey folks, if you really like the nostalgia of playing Atari 2600 games, especially the homebrews for the Atari 2600 games, then I have a really great game I'm excited to share with you. It is called Aguna. It's loosely based off of a Game Boy Advance game by the same name, but you can see in this video it is entirely unique. Again, it has kind of that adventure feel, a little bit of Raiders of the Lost Ark, but at the same time has a bit of a 2600 Zelda feel. So maybe if they made Zelda for the Atari 2600, it would be something very similar to this, which even makes it more fun. But I am super excited to jump into this, so let's go ahead, plug it in, and look. And let me show you what it's all about. You know, here I was talking about nostalgia and you might be thinking, why do I always play on this flat screen TV? Well, that's because I play through my Retron 77 and have a recording device hooked up to that. I record off the Retron 77 so I can give you a better picture in picture video, uh, which in turn makes a higher quality video for you to watch so you're not just simply watching this screen, which the camera may be or may not be focused on. Anyway, I just think it's a better quality video for you. Aguna, again, I really enjoyed this game. I just started getting into it yesterday, but let me walk you through some of the really cool points here. Before we jump in though, I do wanna say that this game does create passwords. You can write down the passwords or take pictures of them and enter the password in uh, in here so you can basically uh, restart the game where you left off almost like a save feature but if you do have a save key that plugs into the second player joystick port uh, then it automatically remembers your password so you don't have to re-enter it almost you know like saving a game the world is quite vast let me show you a map so that's the world map we're starting out kind of to the middle right of that map and I'll show you how you can access that map in the game itself uh, with a cool little function. But uh, there's also several items that you collect on the way. Some will increase your defense or your attack power. You'll find bow and arrows, meat to increase your health, uh, a lantern to help you see in the dark, winged boots that'll help you walk on water and lava, dynamite to blow shit up so if you remember one of the first things you do in Indiana Jones is find the grenade, blow up the wall, so you can start getting to places. I found a boulder in here. Uh, I haven't found a dynamite yet, but I know I do want to blow something up. Some keys you'll find, etc. Anyway, uh, I think you'll get the picture. It's, it's just a good old fashioned adventure RPG style game for the Atari 2600. So with that, let's go ahead and start. All right, you're this little dude running around. Push the button to whip out your sword. You can always know your sword's gonna come out along, aligned with the belt and hands here. Um, I do wanna mention that, uh, hey, thanks to the developer. What, who is the developer, by the way? Thanks to Nathan Tolbert, we have a character that actually resembles a human figure. It's not, uh, a square or anything like that but you saw I did have to kill those two monsters in this room and this uh, door opened to us so now we have three there are hidden doors in here so be, be sure to uh, keep an eye out by looking at the map by switching the black and white button on your system, uh, you'll go to the map screen. So we're in this area here. This is the world map. We're inside this uh, brown area. So we started right above this white dot and now we are in this white dot. So you can see if any of these rooms are left out just by putting the pixels together basically to see if you're missing any of the uh, uh, rooms and you know there's a secret somewhere so just wanted to put that out here's your defense right here here's your attack value again you can find items to increase that um, my my health how many arrows I have we will find an arrow I'll show you that and the experience going on and as you play here's your passcodes your save passcodes you can enter in later and 
again start where we were at and we'll sh show you that again in a minute um, so let me we'll go this way for now this guy's shooting so be careful of him and he takes a couple hits oh god damn it Okay, these guys are quick, so I like to wait on them and just let them come to me and bam them when they do. They only, they're quick, but they only take one hit. All right, now we have a key. I don't think there were any secrets around here. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I'm just getting extra points. Oh, but I got got meat, so that that helps. All right, so to go back down, we have to kill. Gosh darn it! These three guys again. Okay, so this is where I can use the key to go down, but, uh, oh, this guy, he, he gets pretty excited, but I like to get him stuck. And then I'll just pound on him. I think he takes a few hits. Come on. Yeah, so no, he gets stuck there, and I'll just, just let him have it, and now he's gone. Okay, so... Left or right, let's check our map. Okay, I'm at the bottom, so I've gone through these four screens. I went to the right a little bit uh, to get the key, but now I wanna circle back around and make sure I'm not missing anything. So when your sword's out, you can't run, which Good, more meat. You can't run, so no, nothing down here, nothing down there. Check the map again, see how many, how far we went on those pixels. So yeah, it looks like we're at on the edge of the, the we're on the edge here, so I just need to go back here and I would have covered most of this except this side of the map. So let's just continue this way. And I don't like these bats. It's funny, anything on the 2600, anything that moves diagonal is, is difficult. Ah, I'm just gonna skip them. Oh, here's one of those guys that gets stuck. Ha <laughs> ha. Take that. And there's a bow and arrow. I think that's the whole point of us coming this way. Yeah, so if you remember, we started right here. We got the key here, and then we went around here. So now we just got to cover this, this area. So let's get that bow and arrow. I don't think there's any shortcuts back. Would be cool. So to shoot the bow and arrow, well, to shoot your short or you know hit with your sword, just press the button. To shoot with the bow and arrow, you hold down the button. I don't want to, oh, I don't want to mess with those. I'll show you. Now I'm just wasting arrows and life. Hey. Well, they got stuck. Haha. -ha. Oh, shoot. I got too close to him. Oh, good thing I got more meat. I've been making stupid mistakes. Okay, we do have to kill these to start going down again. 
Well, I forget where I'm at. Okay. Hopefully you can follow along with what's going on there. Oh, more arrows. So that restocks my arrows there. Shoot that guy. I shouldn't waste my arrows like that. Sometimes I actually just accidentally waste my arrows. Oh shoot, I was gonna check my map here because I have not gone to this part of the screen yet. Uh, but now I gotta kill these guys again just to get back to where I was. And these guys, don't shoot with your arrows because you gotta hit them three times. Ah, oh, I accidentally ran into them. I hate when that happens. Okay, so no secret wall up there. Okay. Oh, and that will up my um, my attack skills. Like, watch this. So, my attack is one. We'll get this, and my attack has permanently been made two. So we're getting stronger. And going back to the map, you can see we basically gone through the entire. Uh, map screen, except uh, down here where we exit. Oh, my sword was the wrong way again. Hate these guys. That's why I kind of let them come to me. But since I'm making this video, I'm being a little bit more impatient. More arrows here. Just go along this wall, make sure nothing's in there. Oh, there's the boss. Oh. Boss is schooling me. And now we're out of the dungeon. We're out in the world for the first time. So now we can go back in the dungeon or since there's nothing blocking any of the other exits, we can go left, right, or down. So we'll just start by going to the right because we know we're kind of to the edge of the world according to the world map on by that. Okay, always appreciate getting more health. I always thought yeah, that looks like something to go in, but not, not that I can figure out. Um, don't like these snakes. Oh, and I accidentally wasted an arrow. I don't like these guys either. I think I ran out of arrows. It's it's easy. One one thing about this is it's real easy to accidentally shoot your arrows. All right. Oh shoot. So more bats. So here's that boulder I was talking about. I think I can find some dynamite, blow this up, and head north on that world map. I'll show you where we are for context here. But for me to progress up through here, I need to blow up that boulder. Um, this obviously is water. I think this is just kind of the edge of the world here. But um, again, if we find those winged boots, we can uh, walk on water. I don't like killing the bats. I do want the experience, but I typically just mess up like that. But now, now that I started, and again, some things reveal themselves when you do, um, defeat all the characters on the screen. So, uh, that would give me more, uh, defense, but again, need those boots to get there. So, into the world here, into the world here. We'll make our way this way. Oh man. 
you spastic guy. One trick is if you get on this side of the screen, you can hit on the other side, but I haven't found out that would help me. Sometimes you'll run across uh, uh, just small caves, not entire dungeons, but like I think this is just a small cave you can go in. Uh, and you can see that it's dark. Um, there's another key. So again, if we look at our inventory, I can see the keys I collected. It also shows all the other objects you collect here. So we have the bow and arrow. If we find the lantern, we'd see better in here. But I don't think there's any other secrets. Oh, man. I am about dead. So it looks like that started uh, when I left the boss character. So what I'm going to do is reset, and I'm going to put a, in a password from yesterday. OK, so I entered the code. It's hexadecimal, so you don't have to go through too many uh, layers. Um, maybe one day I'll be able to crack this code and understand what number I need to change them and ensure my health is always high. but. I don't know that right offhand, so I'll just go with that code. Looks like it kind of keeps you in the same spot, maybe with just... ways. Collecting some good arrows. I don't like those snakes. I think that's that cave. Yeah. So I think we got everything. Oh. Yeah. Same one. So we'll continue exploring this way in the world. See, that's one thing I don't like is accidentally shooting my arrow. It's just too easy to sh accidentally shoot it. And I don't know why I'm wasting all my time I'm just trying to see if anything's going to appear on the screen once I get all those. No, just wasted everything. My health, my arrows. Seems like something cool might happen. Oh, shoot. Oh, well. Did all that for nothing, I guess. Just exploring here, seeing what what we find. Ah, I think that oh, there's another one of those guys. Oh man, I think you're getting the point here. There's just a lot to explore, many more dungeons to explore. Uh, 
Uh, there's four more dungeons. Uh, you have to do certain things, collect certain items to get to all of them, uh, such as getting the boots to cross over to the other side of the world map. I believe up here, whoa, is uh, the next dungeon we're supposed to explore. Oh, this guy's crazy fast. Get, go away from me. So obviously, you know, we get stronger along the way, but so do the characters. Faster, stronger, fitter. Hey, I'm on top of the rock that I wanted to blow up before. Um, I think that's basically what I, what I want to show you. Again, you know, you can see that you can spend hours just playing this game, searching, uh, searching, figuring things out. Uh, th th there are more complexities in the game, such as switches. You'll find switches that will open some doors but close others at the same time. So you really got to understand the switch network in, in this game. Um, uh, I'm looking forward to uh, a rainy day this fall where I can just sit down all day and play this all the way through. Hope you appreciate uh, me showing you this game. I'm really excited about it. I think it's a great Atari 2600 game. Uh, again, I'm looking forward to a day where I can spend just plowing through it and getting all the way to the end. I look forward to that. If you played this game and gotten to the end, let me know. Let me know what you think of the game. Uh, if you haven't uh, played it, obviously this is a candidate for you to search out and, and, and uh, buy. I'm not blah 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 like subscribe do those sorts of things and we'll catch you on the next video bye